Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Two Hitchhikers. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, so that you never miss an update. So recently, I was getting a lot of questions regarding how I got my admission at Deakin University for my master's program. And I thought this is the right time to acknowledge the people who really helped me to get through this. So apart from my family and friends, a huge thanks to IDP for helping me out throughout my journey to Masters of Business Analytics at Deakin University. So when I decided to pursue my Masters for the first time, I googled a lot about the universities who were conducting the program I was looking for. Uh, but even after a lot of intensive research over the internet, I was nowhere near the application process. So I uh, consulted a few of my friends who were already uh, pursuing their Masters uh, in Australia. Uh, so I took the help and they said they mentioned only one thing that uh, what you can do that do your research and after that go and uh, contact IDP. So you guys I have to go with this goggles because it's really sunny out here and it's almost summer peak summer and it's difficult to shoot uh, in sun <laughs> without closing my eyes so I thought I'll, I'll use this uh, sunglasses. So when my friends suggested for IDP I was really skeptic. Uh, but as I told you that I was nowhere near the application process so I thought I'll go with IDP but before that I did a lot of intensive research on IDP itself and when I got to know that it was established by Australian government in 1969 I think yes and it has already provided uh, services in more than 57 countries and due to IDP's help almost uh, 5 million students uh, have enrolled themselves in uh, various programs all over the countries in uh, like in Australia, UK, US, Canada, New Zealand, and Ireland. Uh, so now at this point of time after my research about IDP I thought no better to go with IDP because it will make my process really easy and at least uh, I'll be confident enough to get the admission. So when I decided to go with IDP for my admission process uh, I had a dilemma because I was working in Chennai and my hometown uh, was in Kolkata. So I, I didn't know how to approach because I thought all the procedures should be done from Kolkata or Chennai. So they said that no, you can uh, uh, go ahead with any of the centers or, because they have centers all over India. So I contacted IDP Chennai and what they suggested that before starting the uh, process itself, I should attend uh, one education fair which was uh, being conducted by IDP Chennai. And I attended that education fair and, and that had all the representatives from the colleges so in that education fair, I met with uh, representatives of a uh, few colleges from Australia and I spoke with them. They gave me all the insightful uh, news or ideas about uh, how to process, I mean, what are the chances for scholarship, uh, what programs they are offering and when they are offering the programs. So everything was whatever questions I had, uh, it, it, all questions were clarified uh, from the representatives. And they were very, very uh, clear about it. No false hope, nothing. They gave me what are my chances to this program, whether I'm eligible for scholarship, what kind of scholarship, how much will be the scholarship. They clarified each and every. So after uh, attending that education fair, I was pretty much sure that which universities I'll be targeting. So I picked up four or five universities in Australia and I started my process. I contacted IDP, but the main problem was I shifted back to Kolkata and contacted uh, Kolkata IDP. And I was assigned one counsellor, her name was, I mean, sorry, her name is uh, Ms. Malia Anam and she was really helpful. I mean, my whole process starting from my application uh, till the time I uh, landed uh, in Melbourne, the whole process was smooth like butter and she helped me at each and every point. That's the main thing about IDP and their counsellors. So I'll talk about my admission uh, process in a very brief manner because otherwise it'll take a lot of time and it has a lot of detailed uh, uh, backgrounds. So which 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 is easy. Don't worry about that. Everything will be taken care of by your counselor. So I started my application process. They gave I mean IDP uh, gave me a few forms uh, specific to universities. I I applied for two or three universities. So they gave me the forms from all the universities. I filled the admission form and uh, gave it to IDP. They they they, they trans, I mean they forward it and submit it to the uh, respective universities and after that I had to submit one SOP, a letter of recommendation and all the education uh, documents like class 10, mark sheet, 12 mark sheet, my bachelor's because I was uh, uh, applying for masters so I had to give my bachelor degree uh, also. Suppose you are applying for bachelor's you don't need to obviously you are going for that so you don't need to provide those. 
so I gave all the documents and I got an offer from the university and after that I had to pay fees after paying fees and confirming my uh, admission they gave me a COE that certificate of enrollment and on the basis of certificate of enrollment I had to go with the visa process which they had giving a lot of forms immigration forms uh, which is easy to fill don't worry about that your background education background your family details these things you have to fill up I filled everything gave it to them for the visa process and after I got the visa everything was done yes you have to go with the one one uh, medical also just they have specific medical centers designated for it so uh, don't worry about that uh, the, if, if you if you're going through IDP they'll give the details of this medical centers you go go there uh, you do your medical and all the medical certificates will directly be transferred to uh, immigration offices so after doing all those things uh, all this immigration uh, forms uh, uh, medical and all everything OS, uh, OSHC OSS student health cover everything you have to do and after doing all those things I got my visa process done in 48 hours I mean trust me when I uh, when I got a call from uh, Malia I mean IDB counselor uh, after for uh, I mean uh, after 48 hours of uh, making the application she said that you've got your uh, visa approved I was like just check it once again because I have never heard about getting a student visa in 48 hours but yes I got it I got it in 48 hours to be honest I was confident that I will get through I get the visa because they have the expertise in it they know how to process all those things so that uh, a student get admission they get their visa and everything so obviously a big thanks to IDP uh, because they have done each and every step very smoothly and confidently making my work very easy so the whole application process was really smooth and what sets IDP apart is their comprehensive support beyond academic counselling. I mean they really helped me with all these essential things like getting overseas student health cover. Uh, I mean I mean, all the process everything was done by them itself uh, or rather the things which they cannot do from their end they helped me out uh, through uh, like uh, video counselling or something. Additionally, Malia guided me through the process of opening an international bank account, uh, making my transition to a new country smoother than I could have imagined. And let's talk tips. Uh, one thing I learned from IDP was the importance of starting your admission application very early. Trust me, it pays off. I mean, uh, IDP gave me insights into what uh, an admission committee looks for uh, in, a, in a candidate. And that's really helped me to tailor my application to uh, fit myself best for the program and yeah let's not forget about the visa process I mean IDP played a crucial role in helping me out uh, to go with all the intricacies of a visa application I mean they have the expertise I mean their guidance were invaluable uh, ensuring that everything was in order and my visa application process went like breeze and here I am pursuing my Masters of Business Analytics at Deakin University. It's a dream come true and I owe a big part of it to IDP and especially to Ms. Malia Anam because she really helped me to go with the process, giving me the confidence that yes, I can get through the application process, I, I can get the admission uh, in the university where I want to study. So if you are in Kolkata, make sure to mark January 6, 2024 in your calendar to attend the education fair. I'll give all the details in the description box and I'll share the email ID of Ms. Malia Anam so that you can contact her and get your uh, admission process done in a breeze in a smooth manner. So guys, what are you waiting for? If you want to study in Australia, New Zealand, UK or US, go ahead and contact IDP and they will help you in each and every step starting from choosing the right program to the final admission. And if you like my video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and the bell icon so that uh, you get all the updates. Thank you, bye-bye, and you'll get the best university you're looking for. Don't worry about it, guys.